Exile Star. I look forward to meeting you again soon. How come I can't have a fancy suit like yours? I want a fancy suit like yours. Hello there, sir. Are you ready to face uh, champion assessment? Okay, I've been, I've been practicing this my entire life. Okay, not really, but for our character's life, he has. All right, let's do this. Okay, all right. Let's see here. It's all start from Nurani Academy, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, it appears you have a total of eight gym badges. No, it sure is. Very well. You may now proceed into the interview room. Oh, I thought he was the test giver. Okay, cool. Uh, I, have I seen you before? <laughs> Thank you for coming today. Oh, it is Rika. Okay. Please, do have a seat. Oh, no. <laughs> um... I'm gonna save the game here. <laughs> Just in case we go straight to a battle afterward. I think he is an Elite Four member. Okay. All right, oh, okay. Whew, okay, I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Oh man, this is gonna be really tough, isn't it? Okay, let's get started with your first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview, okay. Okay, first things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. I assume you have all eight. You can enter this building without having eight? Okay, I guess, yeah. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Zalsar. Okay, please be carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview, depending on your answers. Okay, let's begin. How did you get here today? Does this really matter? I mean, I wrote on my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you enrolled in. Uh, that's wrong. This is correct. Uh, this is correct if you're playing uh, Violet. I don't know if they changed the rotation so that's always middle for the game that you're playing, but make sure that you actually know what game you're playing because this can actually be uh, decent. Okay. What brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to catch Pokemon. I came to become champion. Just for fun, I guess. I want to say this because it just makes sense to me. Is he going to say no? I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results once you again... Thank you again for your time. Now, please excuse me. Does he not like my answer? How'd that happen? What? Does he not like that answer? I mean, technically, he shouldn't. <laughs> I failed, didn't I? What? That doesn't... It's it's depending on the person, right? That's so... That's so silly. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to go restart, so it's only like one test. I'm going to be right back. Alright, such a silly, silly thing. Anyway, let's just go and... Uh, get it right, I guess. Alright, I'll be very serious about this, you know? Very serious. I want to be a champion. I'm not doing this for fun anymore. Doing this because, you know, we're level... We have level 80s Pokemon, pretty much. How did I get here today? I wrote on my Pokemon. Because that's literally how we went through my entire journey. Very good. Well, not maybe not the beginning part, but anyway. Uh, tell me the name of the school you enrolled in. Darania Academy. That's it. That's the right answer. Okay. Ah, that's right. Okay, what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to become champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do when you become a champion? Hmm. I want to become even stronger. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Okay. Are they all by order that I beat them in? No, they're not in the order that I beat them in. Because Glossado was last, and it's not here. Are they by... No, they're not even by alphabetical. That's weird. Okay, uh, can I just see the gyms in order? Okay, what was the one that gave us the hardest? Uh, ice? No. Psychic? No. Ghost? No. Because we literally just used Captain Kid for that one specifically. Larry? Did Larry give us trouble? I don't think so. I think Kid dealt with that one mostly. In Cascarafa, we had an easy time with, uh, we just used Sprig, I think, for that one, right? Was it Sprig or was, yeah, I think it was Sprig. 
uh, for Lavinci, I think Muddy dealt with most of it. Now it's between Grass and Bug. Wait, no. Grass, we didn't have a rough time at all because we just used a, a Kid. Or a Captain Kid, technically, but was Kid beforehand. So the one that we had technical troubles with would be Cortando Gym because we didn't have any type advantages and we couldn't we couldn't find a Pokemon that had a type advantage except for Saltair, but I couldn't use it because it would replace, uh, what was it, Maschiff, I think, if we wanted to use it, which was an Intimidate user, which we really needed. So Cortando Gym. Okay. And what was the name of the gym leader face there? Uh, I do not remember. Not Tulip, not Rhyme, not Kofu, not Ayano, not Grusha. Uh, Katie, I think. It's the only one that makes sense. I'm glad you seem to remember. Oh, thank you. Oh. Which type of Pokemon did she use? Uh, she used Bug. But if it goes, that's wrong, it's like, oh man. It's like, I was pretty sure. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You had a rough trouble with the first gym. <laughs> you must have had a lot of Pokemon to get here, so I'll start. Uh, I mean, sure. What oh, was the category of Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Uh, the Grass Cat. That's Sprig, man. I know my top performer by heart. Very good, very good. I'll probably just lead with Sprig, I think, if I can choose it. Okay. Now, please forgive me. I'm going to repeat a previous question. Okay. Remind me. What do you intend to do if you become a champion? I want to become even stronger. I think this is more of a memory thing. Some tests do do this. Well, they'll repeat a question. It's like, what, do you, what did you do for question four or something like that? Like, what was your answer for question four? Next is the final question for this interview. Okay. Do you like Pokemon? No. <laughs> no, we're being serious now. We, 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 we like Pokemon, man. I just want to get straight to the Elite Four challenge, of course. He's like, I don't like that answer. <laughs> Good job, kiddo. I have through, uh, this about, uh, that about wraps up the interview. If, if you would go to the, and let me be the first to congratulate you, Zalazar, with a, you just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your next, on your first try too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. Technically, it's my second, but anyway. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. Let's hope we're going to battle in this room. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the League has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. As long as I get a little bit of a little bit of a break in between, you know, a little bit of a restoring, no PP restoring, of course, just a, you know, health restoring and stuff like that, just in case. Uh, this won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. Okay. First of all, since we're going to the first battle, we're going to be using mediums. All right. Hopefully, we get a chance to use. No, they would have to give us a chance to switch our Pokemon around, so we would have to be able to be given a chance to do that. I, unless they're going to do, like, an interruption thing. It's like, before you heal up your Pokemon, face me. It's like, oh, man, like, we need a we need a break, man. Like, my Pokemon need a break, man. Like, you know, they just, they just, they're battling too much, you know? Like, they need a little break. Not our Pokemon are level 80. I don't think the Elite Four is ready for us. I don't think they're ready for us. I think they're just going to walk in. They're going to be like, okay, we're going to lose. All right. Basically, the first Elite Four member. I wonder who it is. The secretary looked oddly familiar. Oh, did I fail the... Did, was there an extra question you needed to ask? Why didn't you have your glasses on, though? That's the weird thing. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Wait, you're the first one? Oh, okay. Let good old Rika be the first they leave for to take you on. Oh, no. 
I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. Okay. All right, Rika of the Elite Four. Oh, we are going to breeze right through this. All right, Sprig, are you ready? I feel like it's about you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't you give up too soon. I mean, I won't. All right, Sprig, time to deliver a masterful performance. Flower trick. Perfect. I bet they all enjoyed that Sprig. I know I enjoyed that masterful performance. I hope you will do the same. A camera. Hmm. I will admit I do not have a water type to handle this, but I do have Captain Kid. Go, Captain Kid. Putting my Captain Kid to sleep. Very interesting strategy. I shall use Shadow Claw then. Alrighty then. Alright, Captain Kid, you may rest. Dawn Fan. Should I switch into Sprig? Actually, I got a better idea. Time to go! Return, Captain Kid. Go, Voltabrick. Alright, it's going to use a ground type game. What? Okay, I did not predict that at all. Interesting. I thought I was going to use a ground type move. It did not. Guess we'll go Sprig then. I was kind of hoping it would use like Earthquake or something like that, and I'd just be like, okay, I switched into a flying type. Haha, ha, ha, so clever. Nope, it used Stone Edge. It nearly took out Voltra Bird in one strike, and I was just like, oh my god, I gotta switch. Oh, I, per I, wanted, to use I wanted to use Earthquake or something like that, or High Horse Fire or whatever. Alright, Sprig, masterful performance time. Flower trick. What? Oh, you cheeky little Dawn fan. How dare you? That's it, Sprig. It's time to deliver the final... The final order. Night Slash. Perfect. I dare you disregard our masterful performance, Rika. I love this, like, performer thing that I make for Spray. It's just amazing. I love it. I think I did the same- I think I would do the same thing for Zosh, and I just go, Alright, Zosh, it's time to go for Behemoth Blade! Awesome. Alright. Another massive performance done by Sprig, of course. Perfect. Alright. I can only imagine what your last Pokemon <laughs> Impressive! You really are something else, kiddo. Okay. No, it's mighty! Wait. Alright. Sprig, let's finish this. Come on, Claude's I shake things up a bit. I mean, go on muddy, right? Okay. Floating in the air. He's got a cute hat! It's so cute! Protect. How dare you do that? Our performance is now wasted upon you! Sprig is not happy. 
completely disregarded our own performance. Alright, Sprig, flower trick! That's what happens when you remove this poison typing, I'm afraid. You make your Claude Sire more susceptible to our performance. He removed the poison typing, that's all he did. He still made it weak, he made it even more weak to grass. Not bad, kiddo. Yay. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll just I'll just use Awakening on the Captain Kid. Talk about unfair. Unfair? What was unfair about that? The fact that I was level 80s? Or the fact that you used Yawn and used Stone Edge instead of an Earthquake? Does he even have Earthquake? Wait, hang on a second. Don Fan. He has Earthquake! There is no reason why he would use Stone Edge over Earthquake. There's no reason! Earthquake has better accuracy. He had Stab on it. The only thing that the reason why you would go for Stone Edge is if he saw the kill for it. But I don't... But did it even get a crit? Or does, it ch or does the crit chance change depending on the Pokemon? So if it was guaranteed to crit on Captain Kid, does that guaranteed crit also happen on Vulture Bird? That's something I don't know. Talk about unfair. No one was... No way was I ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good, even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past.